Hi, I'm Brenda Ivey from the Avant Garden Shop and welcome to another episode of The Garden Gate. Today we're going to talk about choosing quality seed for feeding your birds. And what I want you to look for when you're actually buying bird food is can you see the seed? Obviously with this package you can see everything in here. Flip it over and see if there's a lot of the little seed showing up. Like in this, this blend there's a little bit of little seed but it's a canary seed and not a lot of millet. Millet is one of the cheapest seeds. Not a lot of birds like it. And if you see a lot of it in your blend, you know they're putting in the cheap stuff just to kind of fill up the bag. Another thing to think about and to ask when you're buying bird seed is what year is the seed from? If you think about it, when you buy, um, when you grow sunflowers, say in your garden, um, the seed from 2012, your most recent crop, is called new crop seed. So when they make these blends, this blend is from new crop seed, so it's the most recent crop. If the seed is a few years old, it's called old crop seed. The birds don't like old seed. Just like you don't like stale food, the birds don't like stale food either. And you'll really notice a difference when you're actually feeding your birds good quality seed. And you get what you pay for, so remember that. Um, sunflower seed. If you think about a sunflower head, a lot of people like to buy sunflowers in great big bags, and that's okay. Um, but think about how old the seed is. If there's a lot of dust in it, a lot of sticks, it's not the best quality. When you look at a sunflower head like this, you can see there's some seeds here that are quite large, but in the center they're quite small. When they harvest the sunflowers, obviously they're going to harvest the whole head at the same time. So the seed on the outer side has really big kernels inside. So the little bits that the birds actually want to get to when they crack open those seeds, they want the ones with the biggest kernels. The ones on the inside aren't going to have as big a kernel in them. So you might see the bird take the seed, lift it up, throw it on the ground. So if you see your birds are throwing a lot on the ground, it's probably because the kernel is really small inside and they know it's not worth their time to actually crack open that seed. And, uh, and bother eating it. They want those big seeds. So when you get a really good deal on your black oil sunflower, that can be why. They sort it by weight. So if you have a bag of uh, seed that you maybe get for 15 or $20 for a great big bag, they've sorted it by weight. They put it on a conveyor belt, they blow off the really lightweight stuff, and there's, so the kernel inside is really small. With the seed that's called uh, the, the um, number one seed, the grade A seed, they're getting the heaviest seed. So you're not getting all shell. I don't know if I've explained that perfectly, but um, you're getting more kernel and less shell. So another seed to think about, um, a lot of people love to fe feed the finches. The Niger seed is one of those seeds, it can only be sort of six months old, six months to a year. If you get really old Niger seed, the birds just won't eat it. If it's anything more than about six months old, they won't eat it. It gets stale, and it can also get a toxin in it, and the birds will not eat it. So if you have a finch feeder and the birds go to it initially when you put the seed in, and then they stop coming, it's probably because the seed is bad. Have the same thing with peanuts. Peanuts, if they're harvested too soon or if they get wet, um, they also, or they're not dried properly, they also get that toxin. It's an aflatoxin, they call it. So peanuts are one you have to really make sure you get fresh peanuts. The birds, again, they don't like eating stale seed, just like you and I don't like eating stale seed. Thanks for joining me on The Garden Gate. We'll see you next time. The Garden Gate is brought to you by the Avant Garden Shop, your destination for gardening accessories and backyard birding supplies.